Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video we have an Acer laptop. It's called an Acer Aspire 1. These are old laptops, old mini laptops. Uh, based on the request you guys been keep asking how to upgrade and how to make it faster. Uh, I made a video on how to upgrade the RAM. You can check my channel for that. And also there's another big upgrade you can do to make it much, much faster is to remove the mechanical hard drive and replace it with a solid state drive. In this video, we're gonna do that, uh, show you guys how to replace it. So first thing first, let me tell you the model number for this one is an ACS Aspire 1. The model is a D. 255e. This can apply to any slightly different models as long as an Acer Aspire 1. They all have the same um, cover at the bottom. So what do you want to do first? You want to flip it over and you want to remove the battery. To remove the battery you want to pull this trigger towards the unlocked position just like that and the other trigger you want to pull it back and hold it and then you want to pull the battery outward. You want to pull it like that there while you're holding this once you have the battery out now we need to remove this bottom cover or call that service cover but acer calls this cover a door anyway to remove that we need to remove the keyboard first to remove the keyboard you need to grab yourself an opening tool i'm using a guitar pick a metallic guitar pick so what you want to do in here first you want to stick the guitar pick between F4 and F5, there's a tiny trigger right there. You want to push this trigger backward. The trigger on a escape on F1, this is a non-movable uh, trigger. It stays there, so it's not pushable. Only The only pushable one is the F4. You want to push this backward and then stick the guitar pick right there. And then just do a little twist like that and then pull it out slowly and the trigger stays in the back. Same thing on F8. Press the trigger backward and stick the guitar pick there and then do a tiny bit twist. Don't press on the keyboard otherwise the trigger is going to come over. On F12 the same thing, pull the trigger back, do the same thing and there's one right by the insert and delete button. Push it back and do it like this. Once you got all this trigger except the one by the power button, you want to go in the middle. You want to lift it up enough so you can put your finger right there and then you want to give kind of curvature. Because there's a clip right here that we cannot push in, but we, once we give this kind of curve, it's easy to pull this out. So do, do, do the curve and this side is just going to come out. Once we got this side out, now to remove this one here, you just have to go through here. And then while I'm pulling it up, I want to stick the guitar pick right there. Go there and I'm going to help it out with the guitar pick right there. And the other trigger right there is just going to come out easy. Once you have the keyboard out, you want to pull it out, just bend it over, lay it down on the palm rest. Now, to remove the flex cable, you do not need to remove the flex cable, but if you want to, just pull this trigger backward and pull this one backward. Make sure it is all the way back. This, And then slide the, keyboard, uh, the flex cable out. That's your keyboard. All right, now that we have the keyboard out, what we need to do, we need to remove a few screws. We're gonna grab our screwdriver and Phillips number zero. I'm using an iFixit tool set. These are really nice bits. So use bit Phillips number zero from this set. And we're gonna remove the screws that they have a labeled one and it says door. They refer to the back door or service cover. So remove four screws, one over there. One over there, there, there. Once you remove those four screws, one, two, three, four. You want to flip it over. You want to grab your opening tool and you want to stick it in front of the cover where the front end of the laptop is. You don't want to stick it at the back here where there's a tiny clips right there. You don't want to break the, those clips. And then you want to just wiggle it around, just like that. And once you have this corner up, hold it, then pull it up, and then slide it forward. 
and then you can let go of the loose of these clips. If you try to lift up from this side, you're gonna break all these tiny clips. Now the hard drive is right in front of you here. There is only one screw holding the caddy that holds the hard drive. So remove this screw. Now what you wanna do, there's a, this kind of flip right here, flap. You wanna pull on this one. If you don't have it or yours is ripped, just slide the hard drive pushing it from this end towards back. Pull it this way, push it, or pull in this flip, slide it backward. Once you have this gap right here on the connector, SATA connector, you wanna lift it up, and there's your hard drive. This one is a 250 gig uh, SATA cable, SATA connector. What you wanna do, you wanna grab your new mechanical drive, if this one is dead, or you grab a solid state drive. I don't have a solid state drive laying around right now. Imagine the solid state drive are the same entrance, they have the same connector, same profile. So what you need to do, you need to use the caddy. To remove the caddy, there's a four screws. One, two, three, four. Remove these four screws, remove the hard drive from here, and grab your new hard drive or solid state drive, place it in the same position, make sure the the connectors are in the same place so if you grab the new one put it backward in here it's gonna go in there but the screw is not gonna match and neither do the con contacts so make sure you put it in the same position in there put the four screws for the caddy once you have the new drive in there place it inside this cover right there with an offset position and then you want to slide it towards the connector once it is in there, grab the screwdriver and screw the caddy right on the board. And next, you wanna grab the bottom cover, place the back end, slide it right there. And then push down on the corners, push down on the middle, flip over and Put back down the four screws that you removed on the back of the keyboard. Well, once you put the screws in, now we gotta put the keyboard in. To put the keyboard in, this can be really tricky. All you need to do first, you need to open this gap right here and stick the flex cable underneath. You see this white line right there? This line has to be all the way in. So somehow try to manage putting this all the way in just like that make sure this clip is back the white line has to go all the way in and then push it towards the jack this clip and it's going to stay in place now all you need to do flip over the left the keyboard place these contacts right under the palm rest slide them in hold it from the middle top middle and put this corner down put that corner down by the power on switch and then let go of the rest and then just squish this side first and then the top and you're gonna hit those clicks and if you don't see uh, this clip is not showing just flat heavy screwdriver push down on the metal all the way down a little bit and the clip is gonna show and that's how you upgrade your hard drive to a uh, your hard drive to an SSD drive or replace your mechanical drive. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. And if you guys subscribe, it motivates me to make more videos or answer your requests. Also, if you want to know how to install your Windows, it's pretty easy. Just grab yourself a USB thumb drive and then go to the Windows website or type in a Google. I'll leave the link in the description. You can download the ISO from the Microsoft website and automatically burns into the USB drive, at least 8 gig. You're going to plug it in. When you power on the laptop, you're going to press F12. While you're placing F12, you're going to see a boot menu and you're going to choose your USB stick on the boot menu. And then the rest is really easy and forward. You just click next, next, and you're going to get your new system installed. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.